I think he's going all Ken. Uh, I would like to say, oh, Cloud. Ooh. Okay, so he does do him. He does do him. Uh, Ken Cloud. That is not Ken, notably. I mean, blonde kills you really early. Actually, Cloud doesn't kill early. He's bad. He's bad. Um, I play Cloud in Smash 4. This character is bad. So if Eidos gets a game, he's a god. Anyways, he's going to up be out of PS2. The stage is very good for Cloud. I think this matchup's even. Actually, I mean this. I mean Cloud loses. Buff Cloud. Anyways. Okay. Propaganda. All right. I like that. I love I, the 21 I would have gone. I would have gone for uh, up air right in that situation, but I think it was really, really good to not get Ness uh, uh, like with a negative on hit. Yeah, and I feel like this is also really good. Cloud can handle a lot of Ness's uh, jump-ins because you have up e and back air and Nair out of shield. Even though Nair's not what it used to be, it's still very good for covering behind you, and Ness loves to cross you up. Yeah, it's also bigger, importantly, than Ness's little baby arms. Oh my gosh. This stage control from Eidos right now is so good. That was let's, see, let's, see what it, let's see how it deals with this ledge trap. That was a phenomenal angle from Austin. Yeah, that was very good. Uh, using the limit a little too early. Not going to want to use Blade Beam terribly much in this uh, matchup because he can just PK uh, Magnet. So what I do know about Mag uh, Magnet is that Joker, uh, when you do like Aha, it won't heal very much because the first hit like has to trigger the rest yeah. of the damage. Is it the same on uh, Limit Cross Line? I'm not sure, actually. Okay. I just know that you don't want to lose limit and heal him and heal your opponent while losing limit. Sure. So sure. we're going to see a lot less of that. But it is very, I think limit blade beam would be very good for um, uh, edge guarding us. Yeah. But other than that, um, Eidos is playing this disadvantage very well. He's playing so patiently, and this is like the how Cloud wants to play. He wants to stand there, hold the sword, look up, look awesome, and just hit you. <laughs> like <laughs> Cloud is a defensive character for sure, and I think that like the way that his kit sort of functions like it, it indicates that. Yes. Uh, up the out of shield is incredible. Back airing away defensively is incredible. The fact that uh, Nair starts behind you is kind of encouraging you to run away and keep your back to them. Yeah. Which I think is genuinely okay. hinting towards a defensive place. I didn't like that blade beam very much. Uh, he was in a spot where Austin could have just reacted, and he. He had, a, he had a few seconds left on limit. He could have definitely ran in and mid-play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Nah. Ooh. That was meaty. Yeah, that caught that caught the uh, the uh, attack get up too. Do you know how active that is at full charge? I have no idea. Very active. That's Very. that's the answer I'm rolling with. Yeah. Right now. Okay. Yeah, this is not Cloud. Cloud really okay. doesn't have. Okay, Eidos was actually telling me this right before bracket started. He was saying that if you Cloud dash attack, then it, you can or you can react to neutral get up with Cloud dash attack. That's sick, actually. So at kill percents, he's looking for a neutral get up. And if you don't, then he can react to other things. Because he's oh, he's reacting with the dash, not the dash attack. That makes sense. That's really smart, actually. I'm a, I'm a fan. Yes. Now, Cloud's no stranger to making things back. He has that limit, and this matchup, he can definitely take advantage of it. Oh, that was well as we PK Thunder 2. Yeah, he was ready for it. Yeah. But, um, Eidos is really going to need to work. Um, but Cloud can deal some good damage. Yeah. Especially off of just a few neutral interactions. His struggle is just killing. Oh, okay. That was... I love that high recovery. Oh, and he's yeah. Dead. I thought that he was dead, but Cloud's hand is as large as uh, Buster Sword is for some reason. It is. That's whack. You know, for back air, because of his hand, he has a hitbox in front of him. Let's go, Cloud. Let's go, Cloud. I played Cloud in Smash 4 when I played Smash 4 for about three hours total. Okay. Cloud was my favorite character in that game. He's cool. I miss him so much. <laughs> I miss him. Yo, Soro ASMR. <laughs> So <laughs> Yosuro <laughs> cries about Cloud being bad ASMR. Please bring him back. Oh my gosh. I actually cried when I saw that name. Anyways, back on. Let's not talk about me crying because of Cloud nerfs. Let's talk about this Cloud versus Hato. Austin. Do you think or he's in we can see Ken. Going Ken? Um, so so last time, does not last, like that last time Ados fought Austin, or last time Ados beat Austin, it was with Ken. Okay. He's only beaten Austin once, I'm pretty sure. And it was with, Oh, no, no, no. I'm thinking of. So I'm thinking of Ken. Ken. I think this matchup isn't as bad as N says. N says it's unwinnable. But last time N played Ken against Austin, he won. So He proved himself wrong, and you fool. Yeah. And so you should have thrown to prove yourself right. I wonder how this matchup goes. Okay, Eidos is also telling me that he is not happy with Ken today, because when we were playing friendlies, he was flubbing a lot. Yeah, and Ken he said is, he really wants his combos to work today. Ken is a hard character to play well in that way. Uh, yeah. You have a lot of distinction between like the kinds of inputs that you can do, and they're kind of at odds with okay. the way Smash is Wow, that was so good. All Ooh. right. But Austin just fights his way through out of every single combo. He just like gets put in one single disadvantageous spot, and then Austin just put buttons his way back. And I nice was, air dodge down. I really like that to avoid destroy you. I'm a really big fan of how he's playing around ledge. Uh, yeah. He's air dodging a lot to ledge, which is making it hard for Ness to cover him. Yeah. 
especially because Shoryu has such a big arm hitbox. Yeah. That you can just like get easily get caught by Yo-Yo. I think not it's not being out of shield right there. Interesting. Ooh, yeah. I think up he had a shield with Nest Pancake sometimes when he does his moves, it's going to hurt a little bit. Oh my Missing god. The tech. He was saving his jump throughout yeah. the entire uh, PK fire just so he could try, but Austin was right there. I think it's really cover. interesting that he's throwing as many Hadokens as he is. Like, not to say that he's throwing a ton of Hadokens or anything. Like That was such a good one to, to relay yeah, his momentum. That was That smart. was very smart. Uh, but I don't really see in use them much in this matchup in particular, uh, which makes sense because Magnets are never a yeah. threat. Yeah, that, uh, and that has no... That just kills you. Yeah, that move definitely just kills you. But, um... Hadoken, I think, has more utility than it might be giving credit for, and more than I'm probably giving it credit for, frankly. It's very, it's a very good just zone. Obviously, yeah. it's not as good as Ryu's. Ryu's Hados are amazing. Oh, he has no jump. Okay, he's fine. That was such a good uh, just reaction. Just to say, hey, hey, you're not going to hit this. Oh, yeah, that's <gasps> death. He tried to jump air dodge. You can't do that with Ken. Ken doesn't have the best recovery. Yeah, it's not like you're playing uh, the other, the small child on the screen right now who has a phenomenal air dodge for recovery. But he just did jump air dodge, too. Okay, yeah. punching him right through, saying, you're not going to yo-yo me. Okay. Ooh. Uh, Austin's trying to go for the style. I don't believe Austin him. Austin is a player, I feel. When he plays you once, he reads you really, really well. And he just, like, figures out, just, like, at, through one disadvantageous oh! interaction. He figures out all of your defensive habits and breaks you. Just that like was, he broke Eidos right there. That was incredible. Like Double his awareness, stuck. his awareness with that up B right there with the PK Thunder 2 was really, really brilliant. And that was just great play from all.